Just look at how white that is. That's no, uh, that's not good. Last time I looked at these, uh, mm, not quite a year ago, I guess, they were looking pretty damn good, but uh, these are looking more like that one cylinder that I have in the 74. White usually means heat. And yeah, it's not quite as crusty, but it's not good. It, uh, that blow-by that we were seeing is obviously the cause of all the um, oil spillage that's coming down the, the cover here. Now, oddly, that one looks... I mean, it's still white. Very similar, though, but they're... Now, I might have... The, maybe the mixture's, like, way whack. But it would have been a long time since I adjusted that, except for what I did the other day. And I have been out on two, uh, you know, two-mile trips, but... Don't expect the plugs to start start showing something like that, like two miles. Guess I'd have to look up in the videos uh, how long since I had the plugs out of here. Maybe it's been uh, more than a year. I don't know. They still look. Now oh, on these other subsequent ones, I can't tell if that's kind of a new look or whether. One thing these don't have that the ones in the '74 do, even with the white look, is uh, those ones are powdered right out hard. Hard powder. Pretty much identical. Twenty one thirty, one thirty-five. Alright, that is one forty. That's the one. 80. Cylinder number three. That's the one with the uh, bad rings. I've tested compression in this engine probably about five or six times over the last three years. And uh, none of them have been even close to that. Cylinder four is an even 150. Don't think on any of my engines, slant or otherwise, I've seen a uh, compression value more than 150. Seems to be strong. There probably is some that are made out there, but I guess I'm never dealing with high performance stuff. Another 140. 140. Lunch time is over, bitches. Get your ass back to class. Damn near 150, I say like 148 or something like that. So, cylinder three should be the one. Tyler from Tyler's neighborhood commented that uh, I should do a compression check, and uh, I was gonna do one anyway, although I ran out of weather that particular day. Uh, had to agree to go check out uh, I think it's called Tyler's Neighborhood on YouTube Southern Gentleman but uh, fully immersed in the Plymouth I think he does a lot of different uh, types of cars for the day job or whatever but uh, he's definitely a slant aficionado and uh, he likes his Plymouth and on that I cannot blame him alright so anyway, that'll save you the uh, boredom of me putting the spark plugs back in, but uh, that's it for now. We'll chat soon. Bye.